हमारे यानी सत्तर साल हो गए हैं बहुत से सियासी लीडर्स आए बहुत से यानी माशाल्लाह भी लगा और वो जितने भी प्लान्स बनाए गए थे वो सारे उस तरह से कामयाब नहीं हुए जिस तरह से के सोचे गए थे कि इस तरह से कामयाब होंगे या हम तरक्की करेंगे इमरान खान साहब जो हैं वो जब नाकाम हो जाते हैं तो फिर वो सोचते हैं कि मैं नाकाम क्यों हुआ तो फिर उनको मेरे इन ड्रीम्स का पता चलता है फिर उसके Hey guys assalamu alaikum uh just wanted to share this piece of news that's been uh trending on twitter and many people have been asking questions on uh all over uh twitter about who mohammad qasim is and why is he sharing his dreams and why is imran khan uh, uh being discussed so <clears throat> i'll give my opinion in the end but first let me give an overview as i did some research about uh, mohammad qasim and his dreams Now we know that there's uh, plenty of uh, narrations from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam about uh, true dreams and uh, that they are one forty sixth of prophecy and uh, they will remain uh, in the ummah. Uh, but uh, one hadith, one hadith was uh, you know very interesting. I wanted to share uh, here is that uh, when the end times or when the kiyama uh, is near, the dream of a believer will hardly be false and it. um and then prophet sallam said that it's 146th of prophecy and whatever is from prophecy cannot be false so this is an uh, authentic hadith in sahih bukhari and muslim and it's very relevant to our times actually because we are living in a time where many signs or most minor signs of uh, qiyama have been uh, fulfilled and uh, there's a lot of talk about you know how the muslim ummah will be revived and the events that are upcoming in near future so this hadith was very interesting now it's important to note here that muhammad qasim's dreams are not just about imran khan there's he has discussed international politics and uh, emergence of the jal descent of isa jesus christ alayhi salam um so he he claims to have seen these all these dreams and the reason why he's sharing his dreams is because according to him the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to him in a dream in 2014 and told him to to do this work to save pakistan to save islam and to save pakistan um this is interesting because it brings me to my next point the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a hadith that whoever has seen me has indeed seen me and satan cannot take the form i e um it cannot be from your imagination and it cannot be from uh shaitan uh, so so this is very important that if he is uh, speaking the truth then it can it can be very very um worth our attention now regarding imran khan uh, muhammad qasim saw a dream in 2019 that there were planes flying in the sky um and some hackers were trying to intervene and uh well you know those one of those planes crashed um and the ultimately imran khan resigns in that dream now we do know that in just this year uh 2022 uh imran khan did resign from national assembly after getting a no confidence vote um there's talks of foreign intervention There's another uh, long dream on his website published where he had a conversation with Imran Khan and uh, argued with him why uh, Allah is not helping him and why um uh, Allah's help is not coming and the areas where he 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 made mistakes or could he he could have improved um one night before the elections he saw a dream uh, where he where he saw Imran Khan facing difficulties Um again it's worth noting that Muhammad Qasim does not claim to associate himself with any political party whether it's opposition or uh you know the ruling party uh his argument is that he is seeing giving is being given a news from Allah about future events and how Pakistan can improve its situation how it can come out of this turmoil this political chaos and uh So and my I know this was a short video but my conclusion on Muhammad Qasim is that he is truthful uh based on basic human psychology uh if he were to be making this up he would have given up a long time ago um 
But the fact that he's persistently doing this for a long time, for many years since 2014, and he doesn't have a large following, um, you know, means that he is he is uh, not doing this out of his own will or to seek fame. Thanks for watching the video. If you are interested to read more about his dreams, you can go to the website muhammadqasimpk.com or search on YouTube Muhammad Qasim PK.